Let's make a GPT-4 or narrate this video. So this is a video that I got from Pixels. Use a GPT-4 to actually create commentary for this video. Sending the ball soaring through the air and it's in, it's in. I'm going to show you the entire code and I'm going to show you what kind of changes that you have to make so that you can make this work for your own video or type of videos. And I'm going to share the Google Collab Notebook so that you can easily get started. To start with, we are going to need two different libraries. One, of course, we need OpenAI. The second, because we are going to use this video and convert this into image frames. Like we are going to take this video and then slice it into multiple frames. So for that, we need OpenCV Python. So install these two libraries, OpenCV Python. I'm installing it in quiet mode and then pip install OpenAI. Once we have these two libraries installed, the next thing that you have to make sure is that you have to set up your OpenAI API key as an environment variable. So the way you can do that is import OS, os.envan, and you have to use square bracket and inside that use this keyword open AI underscore API underscore key and then add the key. If you're not familiar with this key, once you go to your open AI account, you can find where to find the key and you can copy it and then paste it here. Make sure you never share your key with anybody in public. If you ever do that, uh, revoke the key or delete the key. Once you have done that, we have to do the basic setup. So this is part of uh, the Jupyter Notebook experience or Google Collab, where we are trying to display the image, audio and uh, pictures. Then we are importing OpenAI, OpenCV, and uh, we have got Base64 encoding just to process the image. Uh, then time not required in this particular case uh, and OpenAI from, um, from OpenAI, import OpenAI, OS, which we already saw and import request if you want to make any API calls. In this case, we're going to use uh, OpenAI's audio API for TTS, text-to-speech generation. Then we are going to create a client where we are going to assign the OpenAI API key. Next, we have to download the video. To make it easier, instead of uploading the video, I've made sure that you can download the video anywhere from the internet. So this is the exact location of the video file, and I'm downloading the video file and then putting it in my current working directory with this name called input underscore video. Once that has been done, the next step is to process the video. So we're going to use this video and convert into multiple frames. So as you can see here, we have taken the video and we have taken every single frame and added it. So, so far we have got 333 frames. So you can kind of like understand uh, if it is like a 30 frames per second, like how many uh, frames it would become. So anyways, we have taken 333 frames. Now, just to make sure that, you know, you have read it, you can just display one of the frames. So I've just displayed my uh, 100, 100th frame or 101st frame in this case, just to just to understand that you are uh, until now your code has worked fine. The next step is if you just want to get the description, like if you want a title, um, if you want uh, some additional information about the video, you can generate it this using this code, but this is not required for us to generate TTS. So once that is done, now we are going to generate the commentary then we'll generate the uh, speech. To generate commentary, it's very simple. We have to create a prompt message. What is a message? So the role user is saying that, what is the user saying, the content? There are frames of a video. These are, sorry, these are frames of a video. Create a short voiceover script in the style of a sports commentator. And uh, this is a particular place where you can make changes based on what kind of video you upload. So later in this video, I'm going to show you another video and then um, we will actually see how we can change the style. Only include the narration. This is very important because you don't want the video description or you don't want it to say any introduction to say that, hey, I'm going to give you the video description. You just want the narration and this is an important step for that. Then you're going to take the images and you're going to send some of the frames to this and that is your prompt. Now you're going to select which model you want to send it to. GPT-4 O is a multimodal model, which means it can take vision, uh, sorry, can take uh, images and do vision. So we're going to use that. But if you want to use some other model, you can use that model as well. Messages, what is the message, the prompt message that we are sending and what is the maximum output token, number of tokens that we want to generate. So now we are going to send this and then we are going to get the response back and we are going to print the response here. So here is the response that it has given. And here he goes charging down the code with determination, eyes locked on the target and intensity is palpable. So maybe the narration is uh, almost fine tuned by 
the text that you generate here so you can add more things here like you know give me more emotion make it aggressive make it less aggressive make it defensive so you can play with the prompt here so this is the text that it gives you finally at this point we have successfully uploaded a video and then we have got on the commentary back now what we are going to do is we're going to convert that into voice so we have got this this is the api endpoint that we have to hit to convert the text into the audio clip. So the way we have to do this is this is a post request. We have got the header here, which has got open AI API key from our environment variable, the endpoint that we have to hit, what kind of models that we have to use and what is the content that we are sending, like the content that we got from here and what a type of voice that we are going to require it. And the type of voice with open AI also has some kind of an implication about the kind of emotions right now. It doesn't let you play with emotions a lot, but you can play with the voice once you get it back you put it together and play it as an audio clip and uh, here you go you have got it locked on the target the intensity is palpable he even the sentence the intensity is palpable is not very intense but the idea here is that this should ideally work for any kind of video and i would like to quickly show you that the open ai voice you have got one two three four five six six voices and every voice has a different modulation. Every voice has a different tone. So I would strongly encourage you to play with it. Pond with ducks and swans. This is like, you know, you're reading something. And warm on the inside. So, so you were swimming in the ocean, building sand caps. So you basically play with the voice and then decide which voice to use. I'm going to quickly give you a summary of this code and then we are going to actually do this live. So install the required libraries in this case, open CV and open AI. Once you have that, make sure you set up your environment variable with open AI underscore API underscore key with the right key from your open AI playground, import the required libraries, a get the video you can also upload the video one thing that you can do with google collab is you can click this upload the video as well if you want and the next thing is uh, you have to take the video slice them into frames you have got the base 64 encoded frames and that frame you know you can send it to open ai and then ask it to create a short voiceover script and then take the voiceover script or the script that it has given you which is stored inside result dot choices the first element and uh, the message dot content and uh, now you can send the same, literally the same thing to this particular endpoint with the given voice and the given model, and it will generate the voice for you. And then you can play the voice. And that is how you get create a AI based commentary. I'm going to show you a different video now so that we, we, you know, we have some understanding. So let's pick a different video, something like this, maybe this one. Okay. Let's pick this one. I'm going to pick this is a 17 second video. It's quite in a slow mo, but uh, it's okay. So I'm going to copy the video link, copy video address. And uh, after I copy the video address, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to paste the video address here and I'm going to run this. Now this is going to download the file and it is going to overwrite the file in which I already have got input underscore video. Now I'm going to take that and then convert it into video frames. Technically we should have more number of frames. Last time we had 333 and uh, this time we might have more number of frames instead of 333. So uh, let's, uh, let's wait for it to convert. So because you have got a longer video it's going to take some more time. One of the things that you can do with these kind of things is also you can accelerate the video. You can fasten it up and then send it. So there are multiple things that you can do. I'll leave it to your creativity. Now let's print one of the, um, images one of the frames and as you can see one of the frame is this okay so we have got uh, 449 frames totally now i'm going to say these are the frames of a video you can say even football uh, create a short voiceover script in the style of a sports commentator and uh, make it slightly emotional only include the narration um football play video i don't know if opening I would understand football or soccer now we are sending the video frames and uh, it will take a little bit of time and one of the reason a lot of people ask me why open AI and uh, th for this kind of use case there are two things that you need very important one is you need a good vision model open has got one of the one of the successful vision models that we have got in production and also you need a lesser latency for you to get response back and um, you do, you want a consistent response back you want to be able to rely on the prompt and uh, the response should be grounded on the prompt so that's that's one of the reason 
The next thing is uh, we have got the text here. We are in the dying minutes of the game. The players are exhausted. The tension is palpable. The striker walks up to take the crucial penalty kick and the goalkeeper and a seasoned veteran and it gives you the answer. I'm going to take the video, put the audio clip and then um, let's first create the audio clip and then I'll add that clip at the end of the video so you can actually see end of the video or the start of the video so you can actually see if um, if it has done a good job. So we have got a 42 second audio clip. Let's play it. And here we are in the dying minutes of the game. The players are exhausted. The tension is palpable. The striker walks up to take the field. It's just him, the ball and the net. He strikes it with power, sending the ball soaring through the air and it's in okay there is some sort of emotion and uh, i kind of like this voice also because of the emotion that's why i selected this voice once again you can play with the voice and then select whatever thing that likes you and my demo has been like sports demo where this cannot be demonstrated well but you could have taken like a nature video and then asked it to describe and this could make uh, your youtube automation or uh, any sort of thing like where you've got a video clip and you want to put a really high quality voice that doesn't sound like robotic and i think this is an extreme uh, extremely helpful demo for that let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it like i said the google collab notebook will be in the youtube description see you in another video happy prompting could change everything silence falls across the field it's just him the ball and the net he strikes it with power sending the ball soaring through the air and it's in it's in the crowd erupts you can see the sheer joy on his face the culmination of years of hard work